Hey, what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and welcome to Tai Chi Connection, the series where we look at the movements between the movements. Now, today we're going to be working from a white stork spreads its wings to a brush knee twist step. Now, the two things that I want you to look at here is really sinking down. So we're sinking the body, we're bending the knees, but then we're also dropping down with the elbows and arms. And of course, one of the most important Tai Chi principles, keeping your elbows down. Okay, so let's go get to work. Okay, so one of the big things that I want you to remember before we even get started is that when you do stork spreads its wings, you're going to have the legs extend out and you're going to raise up. So there's the whole body extending as we do this. So we are going to start just before this position because I want you to pay attention to the level and the height of your waist and your shoulders in comparison to the ground, okay? So we'll start from a bow stance and a uh, parting the wild horse's mane position, okay? Now, of course, there's gonna be that half step in and then I'm going to bring the arms up and across as I extend. Now, both legs are going to press and extend outward. Don't just think of going up for this one. Think of actually pushing down with the legs and the side effect is that your body comes up. <laughs> now also, I wanna think of raising my head to the ceiling and then I'm gonna extend those arms up and down. Sometimes you can even practice raising this foot up off the ground because that again finishes up that extension there, okay? But again, we're gonna be starting from here and I want you to think about exactly where the height is for your waist off the ground. If you're practicing at home, look in relation to a chair or a table that's near you from this position. Because then when you actually step in, you want to raise up and see how high up you become off the ground. This is going up and down, okay? Now the transition for the hands is pretty simple here. I'm going to start with my top hand, it's gonna go palm up, bottom hand is going to go palm down. Okay, so we get some yin yang going on here. All right, again from this position, I turn my palm over and then up and down. At the same time as this happening, I wanna make sure I sink back down. So that's why you wanna have that chair or table nearby so you know you can drop back down to that position again. And you wanna start from that position before you step forward. What tends to happen is, from this position, when we step out, we put too much weight on the foot, and that's not Tai Chi principles. Even if you try to reach out, you're not gonna go very far. By sinking down, you keep more weight on this leg, which will allow a much more controlled step outward so that you can finish your technique, okay? So again, uh, we'll start from the crane, the stork spreads its wings position. Palm up, palm down. Now, same time, I sink down, dropping this hand all the way back to by the ear, stepping out, and then finishing the technique, okay? So really think of staying low at that part. You don't want to be still up in this position and then finish, and then you have the legs straight. You still wanna have a good bow stance by the time you're done. All right, so again, from here, I step up, I extend the legs, you can even bring this one off the ground, and then once everything starts to come down, everything drops, I bring the hand by the ear, and then I keep this elbow down. At the same time, my elbow for this arm, I don't want to have bend outward, I want to have it bend downward, okay? So this one you really have to pay attention to, drop both elbows down. Stepping out, keeping that elbow down, turning, and then finishing the push. When it all comes together, it looks very simple, but there's a lot that goes on in this one, okay? So, one last time. From here, stepping in, stork spreads its wings, elbows down, sinking down with the body, keep the elbow down, and then finish the technique. Okay, so there you have it. Really pay attention to dropping that body down. You want to go from that full extended position to where you're at the same level as your bow stance and really sink down with those knees. So you don't want to start from an up position. 
This will really help with your weight distribution and also it keeps the form coherent. Okay, the last thing is keeping those elbows down. Now this is something I mentioned maybe in this video, maybe in another, but this should be always in your mind while practicing Tai Chi. You don't wanna let those elbows come up and be outward because you disconnect the energy coming from the body. So you wanna make sure that you have a nice, strong, connected push and not something where if you push up here, they push your elbow up, it, you've lost all your energy, all your power is gonna be weak, okay? So if you like that video, if you like this video, hit that like button. And as always, be sure to subscribe. Till next time, this is Sifu Cuddle. Bam.